Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihi al-kareem wa ba'd. So everybody, we are here at the battle site of Badr. This is the area where the battle took place. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know, he was, uh, he was in his Arish. The Arish of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Arish basically means like a shaded area where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was there. You know, and from there the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was commanding and leading and he was actually giving instructions. And that Arish now they made into a masjid. And the Arish is basically was there, as you could see. This is the masjid now. But this is the area where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Arish was there. Obviously he was in a huge area you know uh, the prophet uh, arish was a very small but they made into a huge masjid because everybody comes and looks for the arish so from there the prophet of allah was commanding his companions and this is the battle site okay the disbelievers were on the other side you know abu jahal and all the others amr ibn hisham umayyah bin khalaf these guys were on the other side and the muslims were in this side and the prophet of allah was giving them instruction and you know from, this is where the decisive victory yawm al furqan yawm al taqal jam'an the the, the 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 decisive day the day when two armies they met it took place here alhamdulillah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala despite the fact that the muslims were so less in number they were only 313 approximately or even less and the disbelievers were 1,000 or even a little bit more. But Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave victories, uh, victory to the Muslims. And then the companions, mashallah, they managed to capture 70 sonadid, leaders of the Quraysh. And 70 others were actually killed, including the uh, Fir'aun of this ummah. His name was Abu Jahl, Amr ibn Hisham. He was killed. Umayyah ibn Khalaf was killed as well. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uh, he commanded that the bodies should be gathered and they were thrown into their well. This was a huge well before, but now it's all covered now. The Prophet them, he threw into this well and then after the Prophet them, he threw the bodies into the well and when the uh, other disbelievers they ran away like I said to you 70 were captured 70 were killed and the others ran away the Prophet them, then he, he, he descended from his Arish and he came down and he started talking you know in, in front of the well and the Prophet them, said that oh people Hal wajattum ma wa'ad rabbukum haqqa? did you find what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, uh, you know uh, promised فَإِنَّا وَاللَّهِ قَدْ وَجَدْنَا مَا وَعَدَنَا رَبُّنَا حَقَّا Allah promises victory. Alhamdulillah, we have seen victory. But did you guys get the punishment that you deserved? Umar ibn al-Khattab said, Oh Prophet of Allah, why are you talking to people who are dead? You know, they're dead. The Prophet said, Oh Umar, they could hear me better than you are listening to me. So from this we learn that you know, death is just not the end. You know, it's intiqal. You move from the dunya to the akhirah. But the details of akhirah, how much they could hear, when can they hear, we don't know. We just believe in whatever Allah and His Rasul tells us, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, but it's not the termination of life and the life is completely finished. No, there's a new beginning, everybody. If you're believers, you have jannah. If you're disbelievers or you haven't repented, then there's punishment. So that's what the Prophet of Allah was teaching us. It's not the end. So this is the place, this is the battle site place, subhanAllah. So many Quranic verses were revealed here. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always reminded the Muslims, you know, remember when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala assisted you and helped you and gave you victory in Badr when you were less in number. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to them, numbers are not important. Numbers, Allah looks at the taqwa, He looks at the piety, He looks at the dua. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about so many, you know, Suratul Anfal. Read everybody Suratul Anfal. Suratul Anfal is called, the other name of Suratul Anfal is Suratul Badr. It's the, it's the surah of the Badr. And Alhamdulillah, you know, Allah, Allah teaches us so many things. One of the things that we learn is that Iman and Amal al-Salih will give you victory. We learn Tawakkul, trusting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you victory. We learn Dua, supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you victory. We learn the importance of obeying Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa The Sahaba, they were asking about the spoils of war, the gains of war, Mal al ghanima Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about, يَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الْأَنْفَالِ قُلِ الْأَنْفَالُ لِلَّهِ وَالرَّسُولِ And then, وَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ مَغَنِمْتُ مِن شَيْءٍ was revealed. So, you know, so many things we learn in the battlefield. Number six, we also learn that the Prophet of Allah is not just a role model only in salah and ibadat, also in qiyadah, also in leadership as well. And he led them, and, you know, physically by being here and tell, told them what to do. This is, a, you know, this is why we have to follow the Prophet of Allah in all affairs. We also learn as well from, from, from this that the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa to them the most important thing was pleasing Allah and his Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa You know, there were so many, uh, so many of uh, the Ansar and the, so many of the Muhajirin companions 
companions, they recognize all of the disbelievers because they grew up with them. They done business transaction with them as well. So many of them were related to them. For example, Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu, his son Abdul Rahman was in the opposite uh, team. And, you know, and he said to him later on, the father, I saw you in Badr. Abu Bakr said, what happened? He said, well, I changed my, you know, uh, my, 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 my zone. I went to, I changed, you know, from right wing to left wing so that I don't come in front of you because I don't want to fight my father. Abu Bakr said, son, lucky that you didn't come in front of me because I would have actually strike my your neck with my sword because that day I wasn't looking at you uh, a father looking at the son he was someone who's coming here to fight Allah and his Rasul you know so it's, this it tells you the true love for Allah and his Rasul from the companions of Rasulullah so these are some of the lessons that we learn inshallah ta'ala you know and this is uh, this is the area where the battle of Badr took place so many Quran verses were revealed and as, as I said to you from there the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from his Arish you know he led the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq inshallah ta'ala and if you do visit uh, Badr then you know remember this is a place to come and on our far far left you know those companions who passed away they are actually buried there there's a cemetery there we visit already it's called the Maqbara to Shuhada. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all those who are martyred and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant uh, victory to our brothers and sisters in Palestine. May Allah free Palestine and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help the brothers and sisters in Gaza. Ameen Rabbil Alameen.